Different automakers name it differently like virtual mirrors or digital side mirrors or camera wing mirrors. Basically it refers to same tech where camera replaces traditional wing mirrors and visuals captured by the camera are displayed on the screen fitted inside the cabin. They certainly look cool but apart from that there are 10 more reasons due to which automakers are shifting towards it. So let's untangle the 10 reasons to shift towards virtual mirrors. First is blind spot. There are a lot of constraints while adjusting the traditional mirrors like your head position, mirror tilt and rear view of the car. And you have to match all these such that the rear view gets incident on the mirror and it reflects back onto your face. When you adjust all of this, you get to see just a portion of rear view, which means there are always some blind spots. Now, not being able to see these spots can be dangerous in some situations. As you are limited to adjust the mirrors, what you get in modern cars is just a blinking light to tell that there is something in the blind spot. This is not sufficient information at all and neither a great way to solve the problem. With virtual mirrors, you get a lot of flexibility, like you can mount the camera anywhere where you can get most view or you can use wide angle lenses on the camera to capture wider image or you can use camera array to create a panorama of the view behind and simply display it on the screen fitted inside the cabin. Second problem that virtual mirrors solve is distraction of eyes from road. Whenever you have a glimpse on your side mirrors, eyes get distracted from the road in front. If you drive a white car, then having a look at passenger side mirror causes eye strain. It also takes more time and effort which risks the safety. With camera mounted mirrors, you don't need to get visuals from that long distance. An ergonomically mounted screen anywhere on the dash can show you the rear visuals. So now you can quickly swap the eyes between road and screen to get the visuals. Third is glare at night. Now we all face it. It is difficult to drive at night especially when a stupid driver behind is driving on high beam. The light reflects from the mirrors and glares your eyes causing eye strain. Driving in such situation is dangerous and folding mirrors to avoid this danger is dangerous in another way. With cameras, software can compensate with this high brightness and as you can adjust the screen brightness, it won't glare your eyes at all. Fourth is night vision. Luxury cars already have it to get a view at night when the headlights are off. With modern technology for low light photography, this problem can also be solved by fitting camera to capture visuals on dark night. Fifth is adaptive vision. This is really great reason to use virtual mirrors. Whenever we change lane or make a turn, the mirrors show what's behind the car. Sometimes at turning, the desired view is not this. What you actually want to see is this portion. With virtual mirrors, the camera mounted can adaptively turn according to the steering input and the road condition. So the view you get is just the one you want. Sixth is all weather view. When it rains, it's difficult to see through window glass or a water dripping mirror. With proper tinted lenses and hydrophobic glass cover on it, virtual mirrors provide better view without any interruption due to water drops. Also, if your windows get covered with water condensate due to lower inner temperature and higher humidity outside, with traditional mirrors, you have to wipe down the windows to have a look on them. But with virtual mirrors, the camera doesn't get condensated as it's not cold, being outside of the car. So you can always get visuals from the inside screen, even if the window is translucent. Also, in foggy condition, with traditional mirrors, you can't see anything. But if you use thermal cameras, then those can give you crystal clear images even when it's fog. 7th is mounting position. Buses have mirrors mounted here which are tilted down to get the view. It's not ergonomic to use them. In sports cars, we have a mirror here and as sports car is already very low to the ground, the view is not great to look at all. With virtual mirrors, buses can have cameras mounted slightly lower while sports can have cameras mounted slightly higher to get the perfect visuals you want. 
8 is autopilot. For most primitive autopilot system, the basic inputs required to drive automatically are the ones which humans requires. With virtual mirrors, the cameras can be used as side mirrors as well as they can be used to gather information for autopilot system. Ninth is anti-theft. The camera captures the visuals when someone messes up with your car in parking. Those cameras just mounted in better position can work as virtual mirrors as well as help you in anti-theft system. Tenth is aerodynamics. You get a better view when you have a bigger mirror, which makes the car less aerodynamically correct. With cameras mounted on sleek streamlined overhangs, you can get better view from inside while better aerodynamics from outside. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new, go check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for the new ones. If having any question or comments, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now, I'm signing off and see you guys in the next week.